What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl. I'm Monty Jelena and I'm here with another video. So as you can see from the title, this video is going to be all about different hair textures and things like that. So I actually have another video and it's briefly talking about the, the different hair textures that are out there. Um, and some of the hair textures I talk about is like uh, Brazilian, Peruvian, raw, Indian, things like that. So I wanted to make this video basically speaking only about Brazilian hair. Uh, and, and so that's if you, some of you guys are interested in starting a hair company out there or if you're just interested in how exactly they come up with these names. Is it real Brazilian hair? Does it come from a Brazilian person? Those questions are not dumb. They are, you know, they're, they're real questions that, you know, if you're actually interested in the specs on um, different region hair and things like that, this video will definitely help you gain a little more knowledge when it does come to the different or origins of hair that are out there. So when it does come to Brazilian hair, there is a such thing as Brazilian hair. Now, Brazilian hair is extremely rare to find, but there are some Brazilian actual hair vendors out there. And these real Brazilian hair vendors are basically vendors that collect actual Brazilians hair. Now, the term that we all know when it does come to the hair industry is Brazilian hair. Now, I'm sorry to tell you guys this for those that don't know, but Brazilian hair is typically Indian hair that is steamed processed and then labeled as Brazilian hair. Now, the reason they label it as Brazilian hair is because it mimics a Brazilian's hair. So, it uh it can mimic the luster, the shine, the density, things like that. So in easier words, the hair that we all know as Brazilian hair is basically mocked after actual Brazilian's hair. But in rare cases, there are actually Brazilians who either donate or different companies or factories that collect actual Brazilian's hair and then label it as Brazilian hair. And how these factories collect so much hair, because if you think about it, a lot of people have hair companies. There's a lot of hair industries out there. As you guys know, the hair industry is worth billions, billions of dollars. So how all these companies actually collect hair, uh, it's mainly through rituals uh, as far as Indians go. As a ritual, they actually donate to different temples. One, and then once people donate them, they sell them to the factories. Uh, so the hair that, you know, I'm rocking, the hair that you could possibly rocking is actual real, it's, it's real hair. It's just donated from Indians and then steamed process, in some cases chemically processed, which I don't, I, I wouldn't really go after chemically processed hair, but if it's steamed processed, it's okay. Uh, but then... In return, it's steamed processed so, so that it has a certain curl pattern to it or wave pattern to it and then labeled as Brazilian hair due to the fact that Brazilian hair is one of the top hair, hair origins that, that sold via U.S. or sold around the world. Now, a way that you can actually test test your hair. So let's say you're in the process of finding a vendor and you actually want to test your hair. Uh, a way that you can go about testing your hair to, to realize if this is real hair or a synthetic fiber or if synthetic fibers are used within the hair, you can take a candle and uh, cut off a small piece of your, um, your hair. So just basically like a, a small piece and put the and basically you put that piece of hair or chunk of hair above a can above a candle's flame and if it has any synthetic fibers in it also known as synthetic hair would immediately combust into a nice size flame now if the hair is real hair the hair once you put it over the flame on your candle the hair would then turn into more of a dust ashy feel dusty ashy look uh, as it's burning opposed to combusting into a, a, a very not large but like <laughs> it's basically it's not going to catch on fire okay um now for some of you who are interested in more so of the quality in brazilian hair because maybe there's some of you who haven't got the chance to test out any brazilian hair so the quality of brazilian hair is extremely popular and it's really versatile 
a lot of African Americans typically wear a lot of weave. Not all of them, but a nice amount do. So when it does come to Brazilian hair, it blends well with it blends really well when it does come to different textured hair. Brazilian hair has an outstanding, a really nice luster as far as the shine of the hair goes. And once again, it looks very natural when it does come to different, you know, actual curly textured hair similar to African American textured hair. And another thing about Brazilian hair is it holds a curl very, very well. And the last thing that I basically want to incorporate as far as this video goes, uh, as far as information goes, is Remy hair. Now, <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say, I need some Remy hair, or where can I find Remy hair? So the scoop on Remy hair, for those of you who don't know, Remy hair basically just means the hair has not been altered as far as dyes, chemicals, perms, bleaches, or harsh washes and Remy hair also the term Remy hair also means that all the cuticles are aligned meaning that it will prevent any tangling as far as the actual shaft um, of the hair is concerned um, and, and I'm going to break that down a little more Remy all Remy hair means that each cuticle each strand of hair is all faced in the same direction so that you won't get tangling. Now, non-rimmy hair means that it has most likely been chemical processed and the cuticles have not been aligned, which would mean you would most likely get a lot of shedding and a lot of tangling with that particular non-rimmy product. And if you guys are interested in the hair that I am rocking, this hair is by Allure 96. It's Brazilian hair, so it has not been chemically processed. It's only been steam processed to get a wave pattern to it. Now, the curls that you physically see in the hair now are handmade curls by myself. I literally just used a curling wand and my curls eventually dropped over time. But if you guys are interested in this particular hair, you get no shedding. It's super durable hair. You can consistently reuse it as long as you give this hair the proper maintenance it needs. But like I said, if you guys are interested in this hair or interested in joining my wholesale program, my dropship program, or also my pre-ship program, I want you guys to go ahead and check the description box to learn more information. And those of you who do decide to make a purchase with Allure 96, whether it's a large order or a small order, I'm going to good. I'm going to give you guys $15 off of your first order, or if this is your second order, you can still use the discount code. The discount code will be in the description box as well, but I want you guys to look just as flawless as me. I adore you guys. I love you guys. Don't forget about my webinar, December 14th, all about email marketing. So if you need to know more information about email marketing and gaining adi additional revenue via email because you can gain so much money from simply just sending out emails and newsletters so if you guys want to know the inside scoop on that go ahead and check the description box get your ticket i will see you december 14th and if you're you happen to be watching this video at a later date i will also leave the replay link in the description box in case you want to check it out too but i love you guys and i will see you in my next video See you later.